That is a stud. Oh! Oh, you're heavy. Oh, no way! <laughs> this will be a good fight. Using that Dremel method, making a slot for the lip, just by hand, eyeballing it, it turns out so straight every time. And it goes against what you would think would turn out straight, you know? Because it's so free-handed. Yeah, there's just like zero adjusting needed every time I do it this way. Super glue and bacon soda that plug right in there because I don't want to wait for epoxy. Pretty sweet. That works well and it's instant. 3 8 inch plug, 10, mil 10 millimeter hole. So there's a little bit of space for that super glue and baking soda to fill. Whenever there is the opportunity to do so, I drill through the tab of the lip so the screw eye goes through that and secures the lip even better. That's crazy. They sent me a screw eye with no threads on it. Those help the polyurethane drip off. Those are looking clean. That's actually gonna be a gold shiner. That's the base coat for it though. This will be the base coat for a shad. And this will be some kind of sunfish. Okay, I got a bunch of golden shiner colors on this one. The colors are actually upside down, but I wanted it that way. Gold on the top, aluminum on the bottom. Nice, and the chartreuse came through. That's nice. There's some fastback green on the top, mixed in with that gold. Silver right in the middle there. Pop a color at the bottom. That's sweet. Uh, 
Another one I've never used. Wicked metallic charcoal. That looks like a good one. Dark and pearly. Wow, that color just completely disappears in the light and then comes back at an angle. Wow, those look really good. Last one's gonna be kind of an oddball. I'm gonna try to keep the scales away from the center and just kind of do the top and the bottom. Last scale reveal. Put that orange down there too. Hopefully it's prominent, accentuating, striking. I'd say accentuating. That looks fantastic. And the pattern behind there. This is like long-eared sunfish stuff. Some chartreuse on the bottom there. Let's get the rest of the details on these and I'll show you. We got a hardcore primo game on scenario tomorrow with this little batch of crankbaits. We're going to the best pond you could possibly fish at ever. I don't know that for a fact, but I'm pretty certain in that statement regardless. It's been a while since we've been there, but the fish have been growing. It's a Bajornson pond, bjpond.com. It's a game on scenario. See you tomorrow. Fall of 74 bait wraps is what I'm housing these beauties in. I got the long-eared sunfish paint one on the rod. Boy, would have been perfect to bring that net that I just bought to this pond. Got the treble hooks flying around. I just need to get in the pattern of always bringing that. I need to just put that net in my truck. That would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? Here we are, the best pond that I know of. Thank you, Bajornson Pond Management. Let's have some fun and have these handy. First cast, I can feel it thump and look at that rod tip. Man, that is a good looking bait. Instant startup, stable as heck, super wide action. Yeah, that's uh, optimal for a little shallow running crankbait. Fish on real quick. Oh my goodness, that's a good bass. Wow, this is a really good bass. Super juiced up, just fighting like a wiper. It's really quickly super official. <laughs> Giant juiced up mega bass, like the little crankbaits. Be free. It's gonna be quite the day. Crossing my fingers for a wiper, but I'm grateful regardless. That one even took a minute to get in. I didn't bring a scale. I don't bring anything when I fish for some reason. Fish on immediately. This one feels a little feistier. We might have a wiper. Nope. Just a, just a big bass. Oh. Wow. My pliers were right down there by the bed. I left them there. Another Chunkomungus bass. 
it's official again. Be free again. There's one. I think that was top water. Ooh, this is fighting really good. We're getting some bend in this rod. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a good bass again. <laughs> what do you know? Aggressive. The bait is backwards in its mouth. Only got a front treble hook on him. Biggest one so far. What a beast. That one just about took the rod. <laughs> it was another beast. <laughs> oh, my bait's all tangled. It really does not take much to catch a fish in this pond. You just cast right there. Right there. Yep, that was it. That was the spot. Oh, felt some, some structure. Did it try to hide into something? This one's staying down. Goodness gracious, dude. You are powerful. Yet another super official on the big old largies. There's, there must be a thousand of these in here. It's insane. Be free. There's one. Oh, that one felt so thumpy. That was probably the target species. Any luck? Oh yeah. A lot? Yeah, I got the biggest bass of the year. Did for you? sure, yeah. How big do you think? Probably five. We got one five, six. Well, that one I sent that. That was that five, six. Bomb, yeah. Wow. This is Bill. Hey, Bill. Matt, I'm Nate. You know you don't have to be very good to fish here. Yeah, oh yeah. It's kind of automatic. <laughs> yep, for sure. I've been trying to get a wiper. I'm going to kick this off for just a little bit. It should bring him over here. Woo! <laughs> this will be a good fight. We'll see, ya. see ya. We have an albino catfish on the line. Oh, and he popped off. We saw him good though. doing the death roll. Whoa! Whoa, man! That was stronger than the bass. It's official. Catfish. I like the crankbait. Slipped right out of my hand. Bit my finger really hard. Wow, I shouldn't have thumbed that fish. Alright, we're still on a mission to get a striper. Yeah, that, that fish definitely went for the food. What's this? It feels very bass-like. Twas another bass. No! Oh, I tricked that fish. I had my bait right next to that food pellet. That was genius of me. <laughs> oh, I didn't even get it in the mouth. You know, that's pretty brutal of me. I feel kind of bad now. Completely tricked that bass. And this could totally be my biggest of the year. Like that's, that's a monster. 
I don't know. Compared to the ones I've been catching, whew, that is a stud. Mischievous marling baits over here. Just throwing my bait next to a food pellet and catching the biggest bass of the year, pretty much. That's how it's done, fellas. Take notes. <laughs> I cast it straight into that fountain and it, it shot the bait back and tangled it up. I felt like I hooked on that one good. Please be a striper. Nope. I like how they have little iridescent spots right there. A lot of them have had that so far. Be free. Ooh. There's a species I was not expecting today. That's pretty official, that jumbo perch like the crankbaits. What a beautiful specimen. That would be delicious to eat, but I don't think Kevin wants us to eat these. Be free. Dude, I caught a perch today. Doesn't happen often around here. Ah. Yeah, gotcha. I made some weird noises on that hook set. It's so crazy to catch nothing but just fishes that would make the whole fishing trip, you know? If you caught them anywhere else, but it's just normal here. Whew. What a tank. There's one. Really, it felt like I snagged this fish. There was no hit, just resistance. What is this? Whoa, whoa, dude. You guys seeing this fish pole? What is that? I can't tell what this fish is. I don't want to lose it. It's a tiger muskie! It's a tiger muskie! What the heck? I really should have brought my net. Okay, this beats a wiper. This definitely beats a wiper. It's a tiger muskie. Here we go. Oh, it popped off, but you guys saw him. Wow, you, you guys saw him. Wow, I, I feel kind of bad after that, but you, you guys saw him. There's a tiger muskie. I thought it was like two feet long. It was more like three something. I pulled really hard and it popped off. That's what I get for not bringing the net. That was cool to see though, wonderful to fight. Plus that didn't give me a chance to mishandle that fish. So kind of a win there. If I had a net, there would be no chance of me mishandling it. So that's awesome to know that that's in here. I already caught my muskie this year, so I'm fine. I'm fine, everybody. I'm gonna, I'll be okay after that, I think. All right, where's the wiper? Man, do you guys see that tiger muskie? <laughs> what in the world? Why is there tiger muskie in here? It's, it's pretty heavy. Big bass. And he's gone. Oh man, whoa, no way, you d these things do not fight like bass, <laughs> fight to the death bass right there, yeah I don't get how these bass fight this hard, I think Kevin pumps testosterone into this pond, that must be the secret. Yeah, that's the secret. Uh-oh. Look out, Kiwi. Apparently the wiper are smart. If you catch them when they're young, like before two years old, they'll be less likely to hit lures when they're older and mature even. 
That's what I've heard. Like little pack animals. They're like the wolves of the pond, you know. Linked below, bjpond.com, Bjornsson Pond Management. All sorts of pond management products for sale on that website. They do pond design, construction, consulting, custom management for ponds, aquatic, weed, algae identification and control, electrofishing to audit the pond, fountains and aeration systems. They'll make sure your fish populations balance, customized feeding programs for your pond, everything. If you ever need anything for your pond, bjpond.com. Chip. Come on. Thank you for watching this incredibly successful video. Thanks to Bajornson Pond Management. On to the next bait. Oh, I forgot to feed him what. On to the next bait. I already said that, sorry. On to the next bait. <gasps> Chunk Omongus. Oh, I tricked that fish. Fight to the death. Whoa! Whoa, man. Oh, it popped. Tiger musky. Oh. <laughs> I'm fine, everybody. And he's gone.